Hello, I am Snehatit Seth and I am going to speak about gender neutrality in criminal laws. The term gender neutral means that is independent of gender that is equally applicable for both male and female. The men and women along the ages have been legally differentiated on various grounds. It has been hard for the criminal laws in India to have a gender neutral approach. It has been noticed that the victim is always a woman. Furthermore, Section 497 of the Indian Penal Code states that only the men are accountable for adultery. If a married woman is found to have an affair or is caught in such an act of adultery, she is not held guilty of such offence. Even the Justice Verma Committee had recommended gender-neutral rape and sexual assault laws. However, such recommendations were kept in cold storage by the government due to the pressure by activists. The criminal amendment in the year 2013 was passed without much need gender neutral reforms. Let's take an example of cruelty that is section 498A of the Indian Penal Code which states that the husband or any other relative of the husband if commits an act of cruelty on wife it is subject to an imprisonment which may extend to a term of three years as well as fine or both. Now. Surprisingly, there is no law in India which states any punishment if a woman commits an act of cruelty on men, though such a situation does occur and is possible. Due to absence of gender neutral laws on cruelty, there has been misuse of such law. Section 498A is a non bailable offence, which further makes it difficult for an innocent person to avoid the punishment. Now, the term rape in India has been generalized as to only a male can commit such act. But the truth of the fact is even a man, transgender, have faced such a brutal crime. Even if the man files a complaint uh, accounting to a rape committed by a woman, the women would get easily away from it as the IPC does not have a provision to deal with such act. Also, Section 354D refers to stalking and states any man who follows a woman even after clear indication of disinterest or by use of internet or any other communication accounts to stalking. Similarly, we can see section 354C which is voyeurism, section 354A which is uh, sexual harassment, section 354 which is assault or criminal force to outrage modesty of women speaks for such a crime that can be committed only by men. Article 15 of the Indian Constitution states that no one can be discriminated on the basis of color, caste, creed, sex, etc. But here, people are being discriminated on the grounds of gender. Why are there no gender neutral laws? Why do the laws in India make a distinction between male, female and transgender when it clearly states no one should be discriminated, yet it discriminates and causes differentiation between people of our country. Crime does not have any gender and the need is for gender equality. This can only be achieved by making gender neutral criminal laws. The government needs to look into the matter and the old laws and consider changing them as everyone should be equal in the eyes of law as stated by our supreme constitution.